Greetings, my friends. Well, this is what I've been warning you about. This is what I've been telling you about. This is what I've been guarantee, guaranteeing you was going to happen. And this morning, I'm not used to making videos this early. I'm tired, but I'm putting it out. <coughs> and here is the bottom line. Several insiders in the Barack Hussein Obama administration have said he is sick and tired of Prime Minister Netanyahu. He wants revenge. He's angry that he has continued to shut him down, continue to not give him what he wants, continue to slap him in the face. And they said before Barack Hussein Obama leaves office that he will write his own UN resolution and force peace on Israel. Everyone will vote for it. The only one that's ever been the, the, the holdout has been Obama land because Obama has not, hasn't been time for him yet because either God hasn't directed him to or the devil hasn't directed him to. God's overseeing everything, but the devil is the one that's, that's bringing in this whole beast kingdom stuff. But God's ultimately in charge, waiting for his time. But you can, you can bank on it that Barack Hussein Obama is indeed the future Antichrist. This is, again, more hardcore proof. The blind will never see. The blind eyes will continue to be shut. They won't be able to see anything. They have, they have zero discernment. Zero discernment. They have the, the discernment of a gnat. And they'll keep saying, oh, he's no theater. I don't care. I don't care. You might be selling. I'm not buying. He's going to make his own peace his own peace deal, and I believe that he will either uh, not veto or just ignore, you know, just abstain to vote for the Palestinian thing that's going to be coming up pretty soon on the peace deal as well. But he's going to bring his own peace treaty, according to all the insiders, and he's going to force peace upon Israel. It's going to be a seven-year deal, and it's going to prove exactly who he is. And when that happens, when that peace treaty is signed, I won't be here. I'll be in heaven, praise the Lord. I'll be with my Savior Jesus and everyone else. But sadly, most people are going to be right here on earth, including most Christians, because they're too proud, cocky, haughty, and arrogant. They aren't humble like I am, like Jesus Christ told us to be. And they don't repent of their sins after they're saved, the way that at least 250 scripture command you to. Bottom line is this. Jesus Christ is your only hope, because if you are left behind, Two-thirds of you are going to die awful, terrible, horrific, grotesque deaths. And why would you even go through all of that? I've got a prayer in the box below the video and six vital next steps. <coughs> if you've never been saved but you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I will pray for you every day. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost night and day at your job. If you're not doing it, start doing it now. And if you are, great. And look up our Dipshin Darth and I. We fly soon. You guys have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves and share this video with everybody you possibly can and get the word out. Bye.